two positions of a cube are shown below. What will come opposite to the face containing B? So here there are only two, uh, they have given the uh, cu uh, cube only in two angles. Generally we get three, right? And very easily we are able to find out here. They have given us only two positions of the cube. So how will you do this? See, if the question was, uh, which is the uh, opposite side of N, then it is very easy. Yes, I know adjacent faces of N are B and S. Here adjacent faces of N are T and Q. But then how will you find which is the opposite face of B? So here you have to actually imagine. Okay, now see what is happening here. This N was here. Now what has happened? This N has gone to the top and it has become like this right this n is here and the two faces that are being shown here are t and q that is the faces which are here right like uh, um, see whatever i have drawn here dotted line right these two faces are being shown right n is going up n has gone gone up and the face that is there here right the face that is there here and this face these two faces are being shown okay so now you have to say which is opposite to b so actually if you imagine this cube has been turned that side right so n is going up so whatever face here right which is below b that is the one that is going to come here and this is going to be the face that is opposite to s okay if you imagine it properly you will understand the correct answer here will be q yes q will be your correct answer see imagine that you are uh, tilting the cube and this n face n is going upwards and you have placed it in such a way that these two faces are seen so obviously b has to go where should b go check that also from the given options which answer figure can be formed by folding the figure in the given question again can be formed so here if you actually fold it what will you get see you will get 2 and 4 they are op I'm just writing opposite sides okay 2 and 4 will be opposite to each other similarly 6 and 3 yes um, when I fold it I will have 6 and 3 opposite to each other and 5 and 1 will be opposite to each other correct so now let us look at the options here 5 and 1 are actually opposite to each other but they are given that 5 and 1 are adjacent to each other which is not possible. Similarly, next, see if you write it down like this, no, many times it will help you eliminate the options. So just write down which are the opposite sides. If you write that down and then check the options, it is very easy. So once you have got this, option 1 eliminated. Now look at option 2. Here again, you know 2 and 4 are adjacent to each other, not possible. 2 and 4 are opposite to each other not possible now uh, look here again here 6 3 are adjacent to each other not possible 6 3 are actually opposite to each other this is their only correct answer okay so this way if you solve it is very easy so whenever you have such questions just write down which are the opposite faces you'll have three sets right three sets of opposite faces once you write that down just check with the options and you can eliminate the wrong answers which of the following cube in the answer figure cannot be made based on the unfolded cube in the question figure so again for this question let us write down the opposite faces so when you fold this which will be the opposite faces see this will be i'm just writing down the opposite faces so this four dots will be opposite to this symbol and uh, this plus will be opposite to this one um, square will be opposite to the hexagon now which cannot be made okay so now look at the first option here you have uh, the square is adjacent to see i know opposite side of square is hexagon so all the other sides okay are going to be adjacent to uh, the square right so here you have square see i know opposite side of square is this hexagon so all the other sides are obviously can be adjacent to the square so this this is possible this figure is possible next look at the plus symbol so here again if i look at plus i know the opposite face to plus is this circle plus right a circle and a plus inside it so here all i know if this is the opposite if these two are opposite to each other all the other faces are adjacent to this plus so these two are definitely adjacent so this is also possible now look at the third option you have this uh, 
symbol then you have cross and then you have a square now square is opposite to hexagon so square can have these two as adjacent to each other and uh, yeah so this is also possible now let us look at uh, this option once again correct no here you have four dots so four dots is opposite to this only so that is also not there see basically you check for each sign okay uh, so see what you have to see is i just checked for square here right see square cannot be op square is opposite to this so all the other sides are adjacent to the square similarly just if you want you can just cross check with the other sides also you will still get the same answer so if you look at this plus again plus is only opposite to this that is not mentioned here so not a problem similarly if you look at this cross cross is opposite to four dots that's also not mentioned here so this is a possibility definitely so check for each sign so that you are sure okay here you have plus now plus is opposite to this symbol which is not there again hexagon is opposite to square which is not here again four dots is opposite to this x which is also not here so this is also a definite possibility now look at the third option here you have this plus a uh, circle and plus opposite is this one which is not here in both of these places okay similarly opposite to cross is four dots which is also not there so definitely that's fine similarly here you have a square opposite to that is the hexagon which is also not there so all these three cases are possible so obviously your answer has to be option four now let us see why option four is our answer if you look at option four here you have this cross and this four dots these two cannot come together so this is your option that you cannot form based on the unfolded cube okay i hope it is clear see you check uh, the topic cubes and dice so these questions are from those topics uh, such questions the best way is to eliminate the options there is no other way to solve such questions again you have to imagine though see as i said for, first you imagine and write down this opposite sides once you do that then it is very easy to solve okay otherwise you every at every step you have to keep imagining which is very difficult for us right just see which are the opposite sides then see if you know opposite side of this four dots is this x then you know that all the other faces are adjacent to this four dots so you can keep that in mind and then start eliminating the options that will help you speed up the time taken to solve three positions of a cube are shown below what will come in the face uh, containing opposite to four again very easy one so you have uh, three uh, in three angles they have shown the cube so adjacent faces of four are three six five and two so what is going to be the opposite face the opposite face is obviously going to be one from the given options which figure can be formed by folding the figure in the given question again let us write down the opposite sides here see when you fold it let us try to fold it through this face y okay so if i am taking this to be the top okay if i am taking this to be the top of the fold this is going to be side 1 2 3 and 4 or basically the four adjacent sides of this y and this is going to be the opposite side so if this is top this is your bottom now if you fold it like this it is becoming easy to solve so what will you get see i know uh, if i fold it i will have b is opposite to o if i look at the opposite sides i will have b is opposite to o y will be opposite to i and g will be opposite to r now the question is which of the figure can be formed okay can be formed here you have b o and g again can b and o come together they cannot they are opposite faces they are opposite to each other so this option is not possible next one g o y okay that seems let's wait for that option that seems to be possible right now next one g y i again y and i are opposite to each other they cannot be adjacent to each other so this is not a valid possibility again look at this option g r i so again g and r are not are opposite to each other they cannot be adjacent to each other so not possible correct answer is option 2 so g o y possible right when you fold it with y it is easier to close it otherwise also other it will come the other way around it is still the same you imagine like that that's fine anyways you can do okay see here we are folding this side this o and i we will fold in two steps here we have to fold this in two steps you have to do that 
in your mind. If you take Y, I felt it will be easy, but if the other way around is easy for you, take that. No issues. You can fold it around any one face. Generally, if they are asking for any particular face and asking for the opposite face of that, fold it along that face. Otherwise, anything is fine.